Hello everyone, welcome back to Investing with Levi, your host Levi Spade. Thank you for joining me this week. I want to talk about a company that has patented yoga pants. What's so great about this product is that it sucks up the moisture from your body and allows your skin to breathe. They almost have 500 stores now worldwide and four of them are here in the US so they have a lot of room to grow. Their stock price has also almost tripled in the last two years. That's really impressive. Can you guess what company I'm talking about? Well, let me give you a few more clues. They're based in Canada, and it was founded by a guy named Chip Wilson 36 years ago in 1983. And he had a design studio for apparel during the day. But in the evening, it turned into a yoga studio for his students to do workouts. If you haven't guessed, I'm talking about the company Lululemon. Their ticker symbol is LULU. Lululemon, they're forecasted to earn about $5 billion here in the next couple of years. Also, 3% of consumers here in the U.S. have favorited Lululemon as their favorite sports apparel clothing. Just look at all these products on the website for Lululemon. I could definitely see myself buying one or two of these products for my workouts. It, they look really fashionable and comfortable. And I'm always on the lookout for uh, sportswear that will really keep myself comfortable if I'm running or just lifting weights. All right, now on to the charts. I like to use macrotrends.net to see the information very quickly in the form of trends. I love these bar charts and how quickly you're able to see what's been going on with Lululemon. So let's start with the first one here and revenue. Always good to see what they've been up to as far as sales and the total amount of money they've got from customers. And you can see it's really strong. Net income now, you can see here that they're also really strong in year-over-year -year growth for how much they have left over after everything is said and done, expenses, administration, everything, taxes, MRIization. These are all just big words for what's left over after uh, the day is done and uh, Lululemon has paid everything out to everybody and they've received all the money from their customers. So the next is uh, gross profit margin. Here you can see that last quarter reported is about 15%, which is really high for uh, the apparel industry. Usually it's about average of 10%, 5% is really kind of on the low side. So for Lululemon to have 15% net margin is really good. All right, here's a chart of cash on hand for a Lululemon. Cash on hand is just going to show you how much does Lululemon have in their savings account? How much money do they have readily available to use for uh, supplies, for employees, and everything else? So it's a quick way to see the health of a business and are they able to meet short-term obligations for the business? And as you can see, in the past year, they had a good amount of cash, but lately they've been having to burn through some of it because of certain projects they're doing. So uh, you can see the red uh, bars there as negative for the past couple of quarters. You definitely don't want to see this continue. Now, as you can see from the chart of long-term debt that they took out a loan. So Lululemon is smart in being able to secure a loan to help during this time. Obviously, uh, you don't want to have that sustained over years, but in the short term, if they're wanting to expand and bolster the business, this is actually a smart move. So in the apparel comp uh, industry, uh, it's smart because it's a very competitive market. Everybody's moving very quickly. And as you can tell, the fashion industry is very fast paced and uh, people's interests change very quickly. So Lululemon 
is going to have to keep up the pace and really keep up with the trends. All right, here's a quick chart for earnings for Lululemon. You can see the past four quarters that they've beat the estimates and they're continuing a good trend. So they're very consistent with this. Here's a chart of the interest for uh, Lululemon. You can see here that for uh, yoga related category that there it is increasing over the years. There's a really strong interest for this uh, all over the world. Lululemon is going to be strong here in the next couple of years and it's probably just going to increase in interest over time. I pulled this up from Google Trends so you're able to see one of the biggest search engines keep track of how much uh, this category is searched for. A couple thoughts I have for Lululemon is that because of the, all the strong charts you saw that there's going to be a continual growth of Lululemon. Their RSI, which is short for the Relative Strength Indicator, is at 72. So it's getting up there in height. And so I think that there's going to be about 10 more percent growth in the stock price. And then you're going to see a pullback. And that just simply means that it's going to correct itself in its valuation of the stock price. Everybody's got a little excited about Lululemon and investors are going to start realizing, okay, it's probably not valued that much and you're going to have some people that are going to take profits or sell off their stock of Lululemon. There was about a period of six years where the stock price of Lululemon traded between $60 and $70. And it just went up and down, up and down in that same range. In 2018, that is when it really skyrocketed and took off. And in about two years, it's almost tripled in price. Think about it this way. If you had invested $1,000 at late October, uh, 2018, you would have about $3,000 now. So it would have been a very good investment. Obviously, in hindsight, 2020, uh, it's easy to say that, but this is the type of growth that's still happening in this age with a fashion-related company, apparel company. So uh, you, this is kind of akin to tech stocks that can grow this quickly. Uh, apparel companies uh, usually don't do that. You look at other competitors of Lululemon like Levi's, Ralph Lauren, Columbia Sportswear. They're not doing this. Uh, a couple of them have really struggled over the years. And that's just due to the economics and the landscape of the stock world. This is a uh, investment that I was in for a while and I decided to exit the position. But in a few months, uh, after I see that pullback, uh, I will probably invest in this stock again. Here's a chart of the uh, bull trend uh, lines that I've built for myself for this particular stock and where I think it stands. So as you can see, the stock price has hit that uh, resistance line and I feel that uh, the growth for this stock price is going to stall and when it gets back down to that resistance line, that bottom uh, line there, you're going to see that it'll respect that line and will go up again. It's never a perfect world when it comes to uh, bull trend stock like this. There will be, always be some variation. But this is kind of the strategy that I've chosen to take with long-term investments uh, for the stocks that I pick. Well, let me know what you guys think of Lululemon. Is there a particular aspect that you love about this company? Let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to hear from you. And also, if you haven't already, smash that like button and remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see uh, more videos like this and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified right away on your device that I've uploaded. I'll see you guys in the next video.